Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0. And today is day 27. So today we're gonna to talk about two very important pieces of information for an associate, and that is MLS ID and business entity information. Whenever I have an issue with regards to command and listings and whether they can't be found or there's some sort of issue with them uh, going out, etc., I always come into Command MC and double check the associate records MLS ID, making sure that there's no conflicts, that the ID is actually entered, that it's entered correctly. The business entity is also really important when it comes to getting paid, depending on your state and what the rules are for your market center whether the agent's being paid as an individual, an LLC, S-Corp, et cetera, right? Making sure that all of that information is on file in Command MC as well. So on the screen here, we've got Marge Simpson's associate record pulled up. We're gonna click on that. Inside of the associate card, there is this business tab. So we're gonna start on the business tab. And as we scroll down, we're gonna see first off the incorporation information. So here's where I can put in the name of the incorporation, the TIN number, address one, two, city, state, postal. All of that is editable here. When I click on the big edit pencil, and you can see I can add all of that information. Hit, excuse me, to the recruit card, excuse me, the associate card. We can click on the download, just so you know, also in each of these tabs, if you don't wanna see the information, you can always click on that little arrow and open up or collapse that box. Coming down to the bottom though, we're gonna see MLS IDs. And this is where you have the ability to add or remove MLS IDs. So if I click on add MLS ID, let's just say, uh, so we've got unlock MLS tied to this record. And let's say the MLS ID is 123456. The agent is also a member of the Alaska MLS. So we're gonna choose that one and we're gonna put in their MLS ID there. Now I can click on save changes and we're gonna have some issues with the MLS IDs in this test account. But if they had both gone through, they would then show up inside of this MLS ID section down here at the bottom. Now I have had issues where one associate gets multiple MLS IDs from the same MLS. Sometimes that happens when a property is co-listed. Sometimes that happens when it's a team. Um, there's a variety of issues that can occur when that happens. So I would always make sure you come down to the MLS ID section, double check, find out from the agent, hey, do you have more than one MLS ID for this particular MLS? And if they say no, oftentimes what I have found is that the secondary or tertiary IDs are either co-listed agents or team members, etc. So you wanna verify with the agent which one is the correct ID and then you could go in and where this says add MLS ID, there would also be a remove MLS ID. You would go in and remove the incorrect MLS IDs. It's also important to note that the market center itself has MLS IDs and those are available for viewing inside of Command MC in our administration tab. So if we click on administration and we come down to office details, you can see Maybe we're not gonna get into the office. Oh, here we are. We are on the office details tab, I apologize. And here are those MLS IDs for the market center itself. Now these are not editable by any role. So OP can't change these, RTT can't change these, the TL can't change these. But if for any reason you are in here and you realize that these are the incorrect MLS IDs, you would want to send an email to support, right? And this most likely needs to come from the OP, TL or MCA to get those IDs updated and correct. Be careful, I have had instances where uh, an MLS ID from a mega agent office is tied back to the market center, right? And that's a separate MLS ID. In that case, you would most likely want to keep that MLS ID. Sometimes I've seen where transfers of an agent from one market center to another market center brings with that transfer the MLS ID from the transferring or originating office. So in that case, you would want to make updates to that. Uh, this is really important as we go through the win more, no more transition. About half our market centers are through that transition. The other half are not. But double checking inside of associates, the recruit record, right? So let's pull up good old Marge Simpson and we'll show it one more time. Inside the recruit, or excuse me, the I keep saying that the associate card, the business tab, 
scrolling down to the MLS ID section, verifying that those MLS IDs are accurate, and then verifying the MLS IDs for your market center are correct in the administration tool underneath the office details section, looking at the MLS IDs here. If they are incorrect on the associate level, they can be corrected by the TL, MCA, or OP. If they're incorrect at the market center level, support is gonna to have to make changes at that level. So you would need to email support at kw.com in order to get those updated. That's it for today, guys. Uh, checking in, looking up and editing the agent MLS ID. We also talked about the incorporation information as well. Uh, tomorrow, we're gonna to get into the KW information for your associates. So your KW username, how to go through the password recovery process and looking up your KWU ID as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you're having a fantastic day and look forward to speaking with you again real soon.